and it's funny and it's a totally separate conversation but it's good to see the mark differences but in my 20 to 25 chunk shall we say was when i was pre first serious relationship pre kids had a job but i would say pre career that probably didn't kick off till i was in my 30s um living at home happy go lucky shall we say life at the time but at the same point i the, the point in Mr. Brightside, what it does to me is it talks about two things. The first part of the song is someone who is feeling jealous and is having all these imaginary thoughts in their head and it just makes them feel small. And I would say, especially once I've had a few drinks and I start imagining the wonderful lives everyone around me is having while I'm earning a relatively low wage and living at home and can only imagine of these things other people do, that I can very much resonate with that feeling. The latter part of the song when he talks about coming out of his cage and doing just fine, then talks about is him kind of pep talking himself. And it's like, you know, I'm not, I'm going to show you, but no, I'm good. I know what I'm doing. Block these bad thoughts out because I'm on a path and I am going to do good. I'm not just there yet. It's again, it's the second part of the message in that song. And I remember having that very pep talk with myself once I got a few more drinks in and a song came on that I liked that may or may not be this song and or other songs to dance to and then being optimistic but really nothing to be optimistic about other than my own fuel that I was having a good time and I know I'll get somewhere eventually but with no real clue as to what that looked like and again that's that's what that talks about in the song to me and I can vividly remember those feelings and being there and being that person and that song just like like a time machine is like I'm living those lyrics. I can actually each, I can feel the time and the place and the smell and the sounds and everything. Um, I'm now at the other end of that tunnel where I'm of a slightly mature age, not as mature as weird Uncle Joe, but, you know, at a stable place in my life where I have a career and assets and relationship and children, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All those things that were just figments of my imagination back then that I imagined everyone else had, but I didn't for whatever reason, which of course was absolute nonsense. And I know that now. And I'd always, I'd have these little rambling thoughts about this song when I heard it, but the bit of, oh, hold on, I actually got there, kind of clicked in one day when I was listening to it, almost subconsciously, where I kind of joined the dots. And I suppose my thought or message which might be a rambling mess is for people who are in that place where they're looking at stuff outside of their control or they imagine other people have or they haven't realized what they want to realize yet is to believe in yourself and to trust the journey and to trust the path and not get sucked into all of that because chances are to quote my good friend weird uncle joe if you do the work you will get there <laughs>